how that's gonna work, but what I am, what I am in charge of, I will, I will take care of, which is gonna be getting this stream set up. There we go. We got Viceroy versus Madison. Viceroy not messing around. He's on the Rosen today. Rosen are playing well. He, uh, he played very well into Archie. Uh, I saw a little bit of that set. Played in, played well into me to make this run all the way from loser side. Right, look at all this pressure coming out. Is that my shield poke? No. Wow, that is with the banana into down smash immediately, but <laughs> I love the uh, little star bitch just to get a little bit of damage. Oh, wait, weird trade there because you hit Luma and not Rosa. So I don't know how Diddy deals with Luma. I don't know if it's a, a matchup. I guess dash attack is probably pretty strong. All right, but that's going to be it. That's a dead Luma, and that's a nice combo from Viceroy. That's the thing about this character. Like, you're, it's, there's some moments where it's like you get punished for doing what you're kind of what you're supposed to do. Like you want to hit the star, but if you don't hit the star in a way where uh, Rosa can't punish you, then you just get punished immediately. It's kind of like when Diddy RNG drops the banana and trips <laughs> trips you when you're trying to get a follow up. Both of these characters have interesting options on deck. With the little Luma and the banana, both of them yellow at the moment. And that's gonna be Viceroy taking the first off with an F smash. That Luma F smash, one of the strongest in the game. Is killing at 90 from center. Uh, that's a good bit of percent on device right here. It's going to get the Nair coming back on the stage. Oh, weird up B. That's going to be a great follow-up for Madison. Getting the up smash, not getting baited by the tricky drift. So a small, small lead for Viceroy. Yep, he's going to keep Madison in the corner here. Nice down air through the platform. That hitbox is insane. That's Madison fighting her way back on the stage. Not going to get uh, corner pressured by Rosa. One, Rosa, one of the best corner pressure characters and one of the best jugglers in the game. Wow, just <laughs> driving the barrels. Madison kind of laughing about that one. All that time later. No explosion, though, so just a little percent. Oh, no. Gets the ledge clean. Do you come back? Had her jump. Great recovery. Oh, my gosh. Diddy Kong, such an insane recovery since the buff. Second hit of dash attack, gonna catch the shield drop. Multi hit dash attacks in this game are insane. Both of these characters have it. Why? Nice dash attack into fair here. Viceroy with a good percent of the lead though. If he can uh, find this stock, he could probably play, just kind of play back the rest of the game. Rack up some damage. He's right now, he's like letting Luma come back. Madison is not committing in. So that's one of the things you want to see. Once Luma is gone, you need to pressure Rosa accordingly. But the Rosa players, a lot of times, they're going to swing second. They're just going to wait for you to pick an option and then punish you for it. Same thing. Oh, no. Not able to drift there. That time, kind of what we expected that first dog. But Madison not able to get the wall clean out. Interesting barrels. Banana F smashes point blank. Yep, got to punch Luma in the face. Luma off stage. Great banana grab from Viceroy, though. He's just going to play for Luma to come back. Oh, up smash gonna hit Luma and somehow not hit Rosa. There, there is no hurt box on that character. Oh, both these characters, no hurt box. Gets the trip into the F smash. Great DI from Viceroy. Madison, I like the, the attempt to corner pressure here. Lo Rosa does struggle to get onto stage. You play, oh, just barrelsing through the Luma and hitting Viceroy with the explosion. Great option for Madison. But Viceroy with a healthy lead here. Nice job catching Madison out of the corner. That Nair follows up into up air for so freaking long. Gets the F smash. This is Madison off stage. I know two frames. Yep, just F smashing. The, that's what I was talking about earlier. You hit the Luma, it doesn't matter. Just buffer shield. Boom, gets the smash attack. Nice reaction from Viceroy to get the follow up on the up B. So there is mix uh, from Diddy. Which way they bounce. So that's going to be game one going to. Viceroy. He's two more away from meeting with Griff in a Losers Finals. Griff, kind of a Cinderella story today. He's been on the run. Madison thinking through this. What's the stage pick? That's back to PS2. We saw this from Madison earlier uh, at the set with Gravity. Just kind of like trying to make PS2 work. All right. Same character, same stage. Let's see if there's any adaptation between these two. Both excellent players, both able to adapt. So 
Okay, let's see if Madison can figure something out or if Viceroy is going to keep uh, keep the pressure on, keep the lead. All right, nice. It's the, that Nair just has no lag at all. Gets the Nair into the jab. Kind of Fox-esque uh, Nair into jab if it hits your shield. All right, that's going to be an interesting combo route for Viceroy. Kind of ping-ponging Diddy back and forth between Rosa and Luma. Gets the grab on the whiff dash attack. It's a hard move to punish, but he happened to be facing backwards. Uh, so he got that there. Oh, wow. That jab just barely going to pop Diddy back off stage. No F smash, though. Nice. Viceroy Lumalist, but still pressuring Madison into the corner. He doesn't want her to get that banana for free, so playing close enough to threaten the banana pool. Nice side B from Madison off the platform. That's a pretty common mixture of characters with command grabs, like Yoshi and, uh, you know, Diddy Kong Bowser. They'll just run off the platform on one side, B reverse their uh, command grab, and snag you. That's still pretty even percent-wise, but the kill power edge definitely going to Rosa in this matchup. Uh, that F-Smash kills insanely early. The down air kills insanely early if you get the Luma hit. And even the up air gets the jab on the shield here. That's going to cross up. Nice. Gets the trip into the F-Smash. But, of course, Viceroy, one of the uh, better players at DI'ing, like, period. Well, Madison trying to set up the angel drop. Because Diddy will always drop the banana straight down behind him. So when you roll the ledge, kind of put your butt on the ledge as Diddy. You just short hop the Z drop, and it will always drop the banana at the perfect spot. Oh, Madison accidentally wall clinging there, but not going to be uh, bad happening because of it. I've definitely seen her lose stocks to that, though. Nice air dodge to avoid a punish there. Going to throw out the up smash, but Viceroy living here at 150. Both of these players, this first stock, really important. Both of them are very defensive heavy players, uh, so if you can get the lead on them, it's really important. And that's going to be Madison giving up the stock there. I think she didn't quite charge the up B long enough. It might have just been too far away, but she's going to rub it up smash immediately. We've got a two-stock game on deck here, both 0%. All right, Madison gets the banana into the down throw back here. So first lead, I think, of the set for Madison here. But that's going to be Viceroy opening things up. Can he continue the juggle? Yep. Whiffing the dash attack, but still catching the jump out with the up air. Oh my gosh, going so deep for that. That would have been a crazy edge guard. I like the idea. Sweet dash attack fair for Madison, the classic. Keeping the percent lead, but this jab tying things up exactly to 61%. Oh, yep, nice. Using the double jump to get away. It's crazy that Rosa can do rising uh, air short hop and just not fast fall it, and then just double jump out. Oh my gosh, great get up attack. That was the one option that was guaranteed to keep her safe. The invincibility coming in clutch. This is so close. Yep, just gonna jump over Luma, not getting caught with any of the shenanigans, but Vice for getting the nair coming back on the stage. What's the ledge trap? Just gonna down air. We got the kill sparks there, that was crazy. What is this, air dodge? Oh my gosh, and it killed! That would remind me of the uh, Tweak versus Protoss that last time where uh, the up B just sent, oh no, it was Tweak Ken. The up B sent Sonic into the blast zone. Yep, Madison with a quick 46 here. The Viceroy not far from taking this stock. Definitely has the kill power on deck. But no Luma here. Andy's off stage. What's the play? Wow, what a great down air. That's a two stock. Madison taking things back to PS2 and honestly playing it out really well. So it's one to one. These players both very good at the game, both playing extremely well right now. We love to see it. All right, so Viceroy thinking out, thinking through his stage pick here. He also has the Donkey Kong, and he has beaten Madison with Donkey Kong before. We might see that come out, but I think he's played all Rosa today. I, I think that's probably the safe bet. Keep playing the character that's been hot, that's got you here. And it's been a struggle. Uh, he's had a lot of game threes, game five type situations, last stock scenarios, uh, but just staying composed. He's been here before many times in these top eights. So definitely not intimidated. All right, game three on deck. Madison versus Viceroy. Still Diddy, Rosaluma. Still PS2. Viceroy saying, I'll adapt back to you. You adapted to me, and I'll adapt back to you. Excellent back air following the monkey flip there, and an F smash almost killing immediately. This character's F smash kills so early. 
And it's safe too. Because you can do it from a little further back. Nice. I like I like I like taking the damage there. He knew he couldn't get anything out of the actual grab, so doing a little bit of a grab release. Maybe he has a, a concept on deck. Not gonna connect with the up smash. Viceroy untouched as as of yet. Oh I'm pretty sure he wanted to dash up smash there. Luma jab sending Diddy back off stage again. This is tough. Madison uh, chucking the man out of stage, but Viceroy jumping immediately over it. He's a very good reaction ledge trapper. Oh, it's a good uh, job from Madison getting rid of Luma there, but Viceroy almost taking the stock out with that up smash. Nice, grabbed him to the back throw. But did he still living at this 147? That's going to be it, yep. All right, only 14% on Viceroy. This is a tough spot. He's he's kind of like Madison, where when he has the lead, he is very willing to just swing second. Right now, he's kind of playing aggressive, but... uh. Gonna get dash attack. I'd like to see him slow down just a little bit, grow this lead until uh, he loses the stock. But he can play a little risky at this point. He has the uh, he has the percent to do it. Diddy's usually not gonna kill you like absurdly early unless you find like a Z drop there or something. And he's playing the stage control game really well. Yep, yeah, gonna react again. Nice shields the barrels. Gets the F smash on the correct side. Excellent grab, punishing the get up attack. It's really good at spacing around get up attack, making you feel like it's going to hit, but it's just a pixel out of range. Madison looking for the barrel, starting to look a little desperate. This game of three. So we are, we are seeing the adaptation. Both of these players, extremely high level. I wouldn't be surprised to see Madison do the same thing in the next game. But right now, Viceroy ain't worried about the next game. He's got this game on lock at present. And that's going to be the barrels finally cleaning things up. Actually bringing us two stocks apiece. But Madison, definitely a kill percent. Crawling across the stage. Trying to find some ambition, some motivation down there on the ground in the grass on PS2. We got the cursed skin color-ish Luma. That's going to be just an up smash using the invincibility. Does not care about monkey flip. All right, Viceroy, we're putting the pressure on a little bit. Has the banana, too. This is, like, the right spot to be in. I like that banana throw into grab. Oh, actually, I think he got tripped there. Interesting. Nice back here. Viceroy playing the keep away game really well at this point. Just kind of, like, swatting Madison's approaches away. All right, get up attack. Not going to hit the Luma somehow. I got too surprised. I thought get up attack was invincible. Probably should have hit the Luma. Uh, but maybe uh, that was Vice Roy's uh, banana. I don't think it was. Though. All right, Dead Luma, this is the time. Got to get your approach on. Can you get something going here, Madison? Already 81% racked up. Vice Roy holding this lead very well. Get the banana hit so many times there. All right, not going to connect. I love that. That's, the, that's a very common mix-up for Madison. Oh, barely missing that down air. Okay, you're gonna wanna get back on the stage before Luma comes into the picture. Should be any second now. 13 seconds, uh, this is a respawn timer for Luma. See, so yeah, that, that move's crazy, because you can't even really see it. It's like jank, the hitbox still comes out. It doesn't look like it does. That's gonna be a great up smash from Viceroy there. That's a two stock. Two stocking Madison back after her two stock. That's kind of what I thought we'd see, uh, kind of a back and forth between these two players. Let's see if Madison can figure it out. Winner of this goes on to face off against Griff. Both these players are already in the money. Guaranteed fourth place, so shout out to them for making the run. This was our one in, I believe our one in two seat though. I believe, I believe. It is our one in two seat, like I said earlier, yeah. So this this was projected grand finals, but uh, they're playing in loser semis, which is crazy, crazy tournament today. We got Griff waiting in losers finals, the 12 seed. Gravity, the three seed in grand finals. Uh, the rest of the top eight, we had Tricky making all the way to fifth place as the 21 seed, too. Everybody else in top eight was seeded to make it, but Griffin Tricky kind of busting things up a little bit, making his bracket kind of abnormal. But we right here back on to, or back back to the, the match here. We're on Smashville. Interesting pick. I don't think I'd have seen Madison pick it very often. And we're seeing why it might have been a bad idea. That juggle was so good from Charlie. And of course, securing the stock with that ultra powerful Luma F smash. All right, let's see if Madison can find her way back into this. This is so tough. 
between uh, Charlie's patient play, Rosa Luma's very generous hitboxes, and his knowledge of this matchup, I think it's going to be really hard for Madison to come back into this, uh, make it competitive. But she's definitely capable. I've seen her come back from actually bigger deficits than this. So she's going to have to play in an, uh, a way that she doesn't typically. Great up smash is coming out. Oh, the parry too, but finally taking out the Luma. Actually, the barrel damage. Just pile like pile driving right through that Luma. Wow, that Nair just lasts for that Nair lasts too long. Sakurai, what you what you doing? <laughs> He's literally just Nair under the platform. The, it's funny, the floatiness too makes uh, the juggle game even better. It's like makes the disadvantage worse, but the juggle game. Because you can just wait to pull the trigger until it's like super guaranteed. Gets the forward throw here. Vice rolling at 65% playing this lead extremely well. Nice monkey flip from Madison. Takes stage control. She's on her second stock at 120. You need to get this stock like immediately. The Luma actually just going to put out a move there. Nice banana toss. Another great uh, use of the barrels there to get rid of uh, get rid of Luma. We see Madison look for that a couple times where she does the shield push, but she always, uh, she's always reading roll out. Uh, I'd like to see her re roll in once because uh, Viceroy, one of his one of his worst habits is uh, rolling in. He's been cleaning it up a lot lately, though. Nice, just <laughs> forward tilting Luma across the stage. Just smiling about that. <laughs> Viceroy playing very patient. He's up under the platform, gonna die to the up tilt there. Rage Diddy Kong up tilt, finally killing. They look like it barely killed, too. Looking for the down smash. That's a crazy move, too. If, uh, Luma hits your shield too. A lot of times it's pretty safe. Ooh, dash attack not connecting. But that back here definitely gonna take it. Since it's such a such a crazy angle. Nice, Madison killing Luma immediately. Gets the banana toss, jumping away, jumping out of the situation here, avoiding the grab. Yeah, you cannot punish that near, it's insane. Yep, he's just uh, throwing him out at this point. Because it's still going to confirm. Even rising a lot of times, you can find something. Nice pressure there from Viceroy, dashing back, using the star bits. Trying to get the combo where Luma kind of like tilts you into Rosa for the up smash. Yep. Madison doing a good job of fighting Luma in the corner there, not committing. Oh, but that greedy up smash, it wouldn't have even killed. That's one of the things you want to ask yourself yeah, in those spots. It's like, is my smash attack going to kill? Is it worth the risk? But right now, Vice trying to secure the 3-1. He's making a case to get himself into loser's finals to face off against Griff. Oh, I like the pressure from Madison there. And then burning it with the barrels. Barely missing that follow-up. Telling you, sometimes this character I feel like doesn't have a hurt box. Uh, that is a tech that... Uh, is available to Rosa as well, sharking through the bottom of these Animal Crossing stages. They're kind of skinny platforms. Oh, nice uh, nice from Viceroy, covering the roll distance there. Wow, the Nair just completely defeating the Monkey Flip. That move is broken. Both of those moves are broken. What am I saying? Nice dash back, 113 on deck. The Viceroy playing this lead extremely well, not giving Madison what she wants. She's close to securing the stock, though, at 146. Oh my gosh, he lived that. That's crazy. All right. Corner here, and that's going to be a great up smash from Baishoi. Securing the game, securing the set. 3 to 1 over Madison. And that's going to be Baishoi moving on to face Griff on stream for Losers Finals.